My name is Maina Azmio. I am an entrepreneur. In fact, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I started business way back in 1994. So I'm now about 23 years in business and have done several businesses across this duration of time. I have set up about seven businesses. All of them have had their challenges. Four of them have been very successful. And those businesses which have succeeded, I have sold three of them. Because I believe after I have done my part in a business, I can be able to let it go with another person to be able to pursue it. I do not have a lot of attachment to the businesses I start because I always start my businesses to solve a societal problem. Anytime I see a need in society, I normally ask myself, what can I do about this challenge? And most often, I normally see a solution which I work on and establish a business system to solve that problem. When the business system is running, I have no more other work to do in that area. I look for another problem to solve and I start another business. My first business is Azifam Limited. Azifam deals with the pharmaceuticals, hospital and veterinary. It's a company that has been running for the last uh, 15 years. And that is a company which has grown. It is within the region. We have customers across East Africa. We also have customers in Ethiopia, Djibouti, Eritrea, Somalia. We have uh, reached up to the eastern part of DRC Congo, which is served through Rwanda. This business is the one that has given me courage to be able to take on other bigger businesses. In the process that I was growing this business, I had a lot of challenges because I did not have business mentors. I also did not have clear structures how to run this business, but by some good luck, I was able to get introduced to people who are doing training like Scientonomy and uh, Peak Performance, where I went for training on how to structure a business. And after doing that, I was able to disconnect myself from the business because there's a time that I was the business and the business was me. Since then, I have been able to get courage to start other businesses. Because of the challenge that I have got from uh, growing as if, as if I'm limited to what it is, I know that money is one of the areas that most customers normally get challenges. And because I solve problems as I encounter them, I started Azima Ventures Capital to help people who are starting businesses with finances. When I was growing as a firm, I could not get money from the bank because I didn't have security. I know very many people who are starting business now, they are going through the same challenges. What I do is that uh, if you don't have the collateral to borrow from a bank, we will look into your business case. And if your business is bankable, we will be able to finance you without asking you for security, the one that banks will ask you for. That business of Azima Ventures Capital, I started in uh, the year 2014 as, an, as a response to the people who are coming to ask for assistance after they get orders from uh, the government. The government started supporting the youth, women and disabled to take on government contracts. Those who did had a lot of challenges to be able to get money because the bank could not trust them. In 2015, I worked with about five companies. One of the main companies that I worked with is Asteresia Enterprises. Asteresia got an order for for installing solar in, in, to primary schools in preparation for the laptop projects. They got a contract for 31 million and they were just a startup who we encouraged to bid for those jobs in Kajiado County. The second order was for 17 million and they also got another order to do a low court in Limuru. The three orders were coming to 51 million and they could not be able to run even an, a tender for 2 million. We joined hands with them. We did the business together and successfully and everything went, went on quite well. So that business was able to embolden Sterizia to take on other businesses and now they are able to do businesses worth about 200 million. We are happy that uh, we supported them up to that level and they are doing quite well. We also worked with uh, 
Babji Enterprises. Babji Enterprises is a company that is uh, working in Nyanza province. Babji was given a contract by Sony Sugar, bought a tractor and a loader to collect sugarcane from the farms to the factory. They needed money to be able to scale up that business. When they came to us and uh, showed us what they were doing and what the challenges had, because the person who was proposing it was uh, within the age group that we were supporting, we were able to join hands with them and we helped them also to be able to scale up that business. I am happy to say that uh, they have done quite well in the last two years. They have been able to pay the money that uh, we give to them as a venture capital and they are doing quite well. So that's a success case. I've also worked with Gitsa Enterprises. Gitsa Enterprises were given a tender to supply fertilizers at Karo. Karo is the former Kari Kenya Agriculture Research Institute. And when they got an order to supply fertilizers in Muguga, that order was beyond their capacity. So the director of uh, Gitsa came to us with a proposal. We were able to look at it and we saw it was a genuine case and confirmed. And we also supported them to be able to procure the fertilizers that uh, they had been uh, given. They supplied to their customer and they were able now to grow from that level and we keep on working together with them. We have also worked with a company that is headed by, by, by Emma, who is a disabled from Kikuyu. They were given an order to import some uh, research agents from Japan. These reagents were requiring about uh, 850,000, which she could not be able to raise. They came to us, we looked into the tender, we confirmed, and we supported them by paying for them the LC to, to import the items. The items came, they were able to supply, and since then we have done three other tenders with them, and they are growing strong. We do not only give money, we normally advise the owners of the business on what structures to set to be able to run their businesses successfully. I do not want them to go the same challenges that we had when we started business without proper mentorship. This is one area that has been uh, having a very high demand on what you can do to help people who are starting into business, how they can be able to clear, create good structures to be able to run their businesses. In my other company, apart from Azima Ventures, which Azima Wellness uh, uh, Consultant, we consult on how to create the structures to run a business.